Based on archaeological findings from Unpeli in Northern Territory, it is believed that the Aboriginal people first arrived in Australia at least 50,000 years ago. However, there is evidence that suggests they may have been present even earlier. For example, core samples taken from the bottom of Lake George, New South Wales, hint at human activity from an ancient period, even though no human bones, tools, or charcoal from that era have yet been found. Australia, while widely known for its breathtaking natural landscapes, also holds numerous prehistoric and megalithic sites that have astonished archaeologists around the world. If you find that hard to believe, let's explore some of the most significant ancient sites in Australia that offer remarkable insights into the early civilizations of this vast land. Could you imagine that ancient Aboriginal peoples had a sophisticated understanding of astronomy? Located near Mount Rothwell in Victoria, close to Little River, Wordy Yuang might initially seem like a random collection of scattered stones. However, these stones form a carefully arranged oval, and the site is now recognized as one of Australia's most important megalithic structures. Sometimes referred to as the Aboriginal Stonehenge, Wordy Yuang comprises roughly 90 basalt stones arranged in a complex formation. According to extensive research, this site served a specific astronomical function, likely used to track the sun's movement, especially during key solar events like the solstices. Unlike modern observatories equipped with powerful telescopes, this ancient observatory relies on these stone markers. This discovery has challenged previous assumptions about the capabilities of ancient Australian civilizations, proving that early Aboriginal people had a far more advanced grasp of astronomy than previously thought. It stands as powerful evidence of their sophisticated knowledge and connection to the natural world. What comes to mind when you see two large, seemingly unremarkable rocks? You might think they're just ordinary stones, standing silently, indifferent to the world around them. But what if these stones were part of a significant megalithic site that has rocked the world of archaeology? While that may sound cliché, it invites us to expand our perspective. These stones are part of a broader formation known as Devil's Marbles, or Karlu Karlu in the local Aboriginal language. Scattered across a vast area, these massive spherical boulders hold immense spiritual significance to the Warramungu people, the local indigenous community. The site is deeply sacred, and many parts of it are classified as registered sacred sites protected under Australia's Northern Territory Aboriginal Sacred Sites Act of 1989. Geologically, these formations were shaped over millions of years through erosion, but to the Aboriginal people, they hold profound cultural and spiritual connections, often linked to their creation stories. The enchanting landscape of Kakadu National Park, located in Australia's Northern Territory, exudes a mystical aura. Here, you'll find dramatic escarpments, lush rainforests, and rock galleries that have endured for tens of thousands of years. Kakadu is home to one of the largest concentrations of prehistoric rock art globally, boasting over 5,000 sites that showcase the life and culture of Australia's Aboriginal people over millennia, covering an area of 19,804 square kilometers. Kakadu National Park stretches nearly 200 kilometers from north to south and over 100 kilometers from east to west. Its immense size makes it the second largest national park in Australia, only surpassed by the Munga Thiri Simpson Desert National Park. The most fascinating aspect of Kakadu is its ancient rock paintings, some of which are believed 
believed to be 20,000 years old, marking them as some of the oldest artworks in the world. These paintings depict humans, animals, and even mythical creatures, providing a unique window into the spiritual and everyday lives of the indigenous Australians, while offering insights into their connection with nature and the cosmos. In addition to Kakadu National Park, another spectacular rock art site is located in Arnhem Land, also within the Northern Territory. Just take a look at these incredible cave paintings, aren't they breathtaking? These images are part of Nawarla Gabarn Mang, a cave site containing some of the oldest known rock art in the world, with some artwork dating back more than 28,000 years. It is believed that this cave was used as a dwelling by ancient Aborigines communities at least 44,000 years ago, placing it among the oldest radiocarbon dated sites in Australia. The site, which was excavated in 2010, provides further evidence that the Aboriginal people have inhabited this continent for tens of thousands of years, as mentioned earlier. The artistic quality and the age of the site offer a glimpse into the rich cultural history of Australia's indigenous people. Shifting away from rock art, we turn to a site known globally as Lake Mungo. However, this isn't a lake in the conventional sense. It's a dry lake bed located in the far west of New South Wales, approximately 760 kilometers west of Sydney. Around 50,000 years ago, Lake Mungo was filled with water, but it dried up as the last ice age ended, and it has remained dry for over 10,000 years. So, what makes this ancient lake bed so significant? Lake Mungo is famous for the discovery of two of Australia's oldest human remains, Mungo Man and Mungo Lady, both estimated to be over 40,000 years old. The eroded sand dunes in this area reveal a wealth of evidence indicating that ancient humans and prehistoric animals once thrived here. The discoveries have led to the realization that humans have been living in Australia for over 40,000 years, making this one of the world's oldest known inhabited sites. Notably, Mungo Lady provides evidence of one of the earliest known cremations in human history, further solidifying the site's importance in the study of ancient human civilizations. From New South Wales, let's fly across the continent to Western Australia, the country's largest state, where we find one of the most remarkable archaeological sites, Murujuga, also known as the Burrup Peninsula Rock Art Site. Much like Kakadu National Park, Murujuga houses one of the largest collections of rock art in the world. However, unlike the cave paintings found in Kakadu, Murujuga is famous for its petroglyphs, images created by carving into the rock surface. This discovery is astounding, especially considering that Aboriginal people have lived here for over 50,000 years, and many of these petroglyphs are estimated to be around 40,000 years old. What makes these engravings particularly fascinating is the variety of subjects depicted from human and bird figures to marine life and extinct creatures, offering a rich glimpse into what held significance for the ancient Aboriginal people. These carvings provide invaluable insights into the natural world and spiritual life of Australia's earliest inhabitants. Moving on to New South Wales, another site not to be missed is the Brewerina Fish Traps, located in the town of Brewerina along the Barwon River. This intricate system of stone walls, stretching nearly half a kilometer, is recognized as the largest known fish trap in Australia and a marvel of Aboriginal ingenuity. These traps, used to catch fish, demonstrate a highly advanced understanding of ecology and engineering. 
Although the exact age of these fish traps remains unknown, anthropologist Genevieve Bell from the Australian National University has suggested that they are one of the world's oldest man-made structures. This discovery highlights the sophisticated environmental knowledge and sustainable practices of the Aboriginal people, providing a glimpse into their resourcefulness and harmonious relationship with nature. Australia is indeed a treasure trove of ancient rock art and nestled within the dramatic landscape of Queensland lies another stunning example, Carnarvon Gorge. Known for its breathtaking scenery, this gorge is filled with towering sandstone cliffs, lush greenery and the winding Carnarvon River. Beyond its natural beauty, Carnarvon Gorge is home to a rich collection of Aboriginal rock art that adorns the sandstone walls. The ochre stencils of tools, weapons, ornaments, and ceremonial objects, along with engravings and grooves where tools were sharpened, offer a detailed glimpse into the daily life of the area's first inhabitants. The art found here provides an important cultural and spiritual record of ancient Aboriginal society. Yet, many of the symbols and motifs remain mysterious, leaving researchers with much to ponder about the meanings behind this prehistoric art. Still in Queensland, specifically in the Keppel Islands off the Capricorn Coast, there lies another example of prehistoric Aboriginal rock art. While information on this site is limited, the Keppel Islands are known to house ancient rock paintings depicting marine life, fish and symbolic motifs, showcasing the deep connection between the ancient inhabitants and the sea. According to the Australian Museum, the Wapabura people are the traditional owners of the Keppel Islands, and they have left behind various cultural artifacts, including body ornaments, tools, dolls, and pigments from the islands. Much like the artwork found at Carnarvon Gorge, the rock art in the Keppel Islands demonstrates the Aboriginal people's advanced knowledge of the marine ecosystem and their rich maritime culture. This provides further evidence that ancient Australians had a deep understanding of the ocean and the local ecology long before modern science. Continuing with the theme of rock art, the Mount Grenfell Historic Site in New South Wales offers another fascinating glimpse into ancient Aboriginal life, with its rock art depicting a wide array of subjects. At Mount Grenfell, the rock shelters surround a watering hole and are adorned with artwork that illustrates various aspects of Aboriginal life. Many of the paintings are linear, created by applying wet pigments with fingers or natural brushes. Others feature hand stencils, along with depictions of animals, humans, and abstract symbols carved into cave walls and rocks. The animals portrayed include emus, kangaroos, bearded dragons, geckos, and the endangered gerboa, also known as the hopping mouse. Mount Grenfell not only highlights the strong spiritual and cultural significance of these artworks, but also reveals the close relationship between the Aboriginal people and their natural environment. These artworks were likely used in ritual ceremonies, serving as a powerful testament to the spiritual life of ancient Australia. 